Okay, so we're going to start off with congruent angles. And congruent angles are just angles that have equal measures, and we measure angles in degrees. So we have right here angle A, B, C. And if we measured it, we would find that the measure of angle A, B, C is about 63 degrees. And over here we have angle D, E, F, and if you measured that, you would find out that that is about 63 degrees as well. So since the measure of angle A, B, C equals the measure of angle D, E, F, we can say that angle A, B, C and angle D, E, F are congruent angles. Okay, so now that we know that, we're going to go on to something else, which is called the addition property of angles. So, we have r ray I n, which is this one directional line right here, and it lies between ray I m and ray I k. So, that means that the measure of angle MIN plus the measure of angle NIK equals the measure of this entire angle. Which makes sense because if you add up the parts of something, you're going to get the total of the whole. So say I know that the measure of M I N is equal to 63 degrees. And I know that the measure of N I K is equal to 55 degrees. I can take each one of those parts and add them together in order to get what the whole angle is equal to. And if you add 63 plus 55, you get 118 degrees. So therefore, the measure of angle MIK is equal to 118 degrees. Okay, so now that we know that, we're going to do a couple examples using these two properties. Okay. So, I know that angle QRT is equal to 62 degrees. If the measure of angle TRS, which is this angle right here, is equal to 43 degrees, what is the measure of this whole angle? So, I can take 62 plus 43, and I get 105. So the big angle, angle QRS, is equal to 105. So for number two, I know that the measure of HIJ, which is this entire angle, is 138. And I know that the measure of this part, angle HIK, is equal to 38 degrees. So what is the measure of K of angle KIJ, which is this part right here? So since I know the measure of the total, I can take the sum of the parts and set it equal to 138, with x being the measure of this angle. So if I subtract 38 from 138, I'm going to find out what the other part equals, which is 100. So therefore, the measure of angle Kij is equal to 100 degrees. That's using the same property, I'm just doing the opposite. Okay, so now we have one more example. Example 3. Angle ABC 
and angle CBD are congruent if measure of angle ABC or excuse me measure of angle ABD is equal to 120 what is the measure of angle AB what is the measure of angle ABC and CBD well since these two angles are congruent that means that they have the same measure so if we let the measure of ABC equal X equals X we can take 2x and set it to the total because these two angles represent two equal parts of the whole angle so to find out what each angle equals we can just take 120 and divide it by 2 and you'll find that each angle equals 60 degrees okay so now that you know the properties of angles be sure to watch the next video which will go over special angle pairs and how they relate to one another